I am not sure exactly what to say tonight. It's um, our cup runneth over with love. It's just... What an amazing night. We're so excited to be here. And I'm especially proud to have this event here in the St. Regis on the 10th anniversary of a place that I consider one of my finest creations other than my great children. How can I be here at 70 with a 27-year-old getting married? Well, I'll tell you how. Oops. That's how. My sister Melanie, who had been a labor nurse, essentially delivered Stacy. She hands Stacy to me. Then these big blue eyes stared into mine, and there was magic. In our family, we have always joked about who's the favorite. But Stacy, you really are everyone's favorite. But that's only because you have the best combination of me and Adam. <laughs> he says, Dad, my heart is with the Illini, but my head says go to Tulane. I'm going to Tulane. Now, while I was heartbroken, that fateful decision was the starting point to where we are tonight. My sweet Stacy. This weekend, this day, and this moment don't seem real. Obviously, a lot of that has to do with how long we waited for today. From Spanish class, to long distance, to law school, and now today, we've been through more than any other couple could ever dream of going through to get to this moment. What truly makes this day and this moment so surreal is that it officially marks the beginning of the rest of my life with my best friend. You're my best friend, my 22 out of 10, and the love of my life. Let's go get married. Love, Jack. It was the first day of class, second semester, when we met her for lunch. She came directly from Spanish class where she first laid eyes on Jack. She sat down at the table and declared, I'm in love. He found a love interest in a very pretty blonde girl named Stacy. Immediately started scheming about how to ask uh, her out in Spanish class, and we immediately figured out neither of us knew how to talk to a girl while sober. <laughs> To my Jack, June 1st, 2019. When I met you for the first time over eight years ago, I knew I was going to marry you. I didn't know you, but I just knew it. I was so madly in love with you ever since our eyes locked back on that first day in Spanish class. The truth is, I knew you were the person that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Jack, I'm so grateful to you for choosing me. I can honestly say that I truly hit the jackpot. You are my Prince Charming, my dream come true. I'm beyond excited to stand before you today and become your wife. And I can't wait to officially make you mine. Love you forever, Stacy. Stacy loves you all. I love you all. There's nothing I would have deep for anyone in this room. I could be happier to stand up there today with all of you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very rare to love and know each side of the aisle at a wedding, separately and equally. And watch it grow from the start. They couldn't be in a better position than they are in right now to stay together forever. I have most confidence in both of you. Our groom, John Emil Spangler, our bride, Stacy Aaron Freeman. Stacy and Jack, at long last, welcome to this long-awaited, most precious moment in your lives. We are all here on this evening, in this beautiful room, surrounded by your family and dearest friends and loved ones. We are all here because of you, and we've come to celebrate with you. We've come to rejoice in the truly loving and beautiful spirit 
that you create when the two of you are together. Oh, oh my God. Stacy, about Jack, you shared how incredibly smart you think he is, and eloquent, and humorous, determined, and driven. You talked about the embodied calm that Jack exudes. But what I truly thought was beautiful was the way you wrote in which he gives you the freedom to be who you are, always encouraging you to be the best version of yourself. And about Stacy Jack, you described her with these three beautiful words, joyful, perpetually positive and outgoing, someone who chooses to see the world with a smile when not everyone else does. You talked about her as caring, natural and genuine inclination to put others before herself, and talked about the way in which you make everyone feel cared for and in such a genuine and sincere way, and also passionate, you said. So Stacy is passionate, because no matter what it is, you throw yourself into it with your whole self, dreaming big, believing that nothing is impossible. I truly believe that together, those ways in which you understand one another and those deep, beautiful values that you share will continue to met at Tulane and have been together ever since. But what all you may not know is that about half of, if not more, of this relationship was spent long distance and essentially via a phone. But no matter how painful it got, no matter how many teary painful goodbyes we had, uh, I knew I was waiting for more than just being able to finally be together. I was waiting for the girl whose smile can light up this entire room and who has the most positive attitude no matter what. I was waiting for the girl who makes the good times sweeter and the low times softer because I'm sharing them with her. I was waiting for the girl who makes me thank God every morning and night for having found her and whose presence has made me into the man I am today. I was waiting for the girl who I know will take my breath away tomorrow like she has for the past eight years. And I was waiting for my best friend. But most importantly, I think I always knew I was waiting for my wife. You and Stacy found your way through some serious long distance dating and have almost made it to the finish line. We couldn't be more excited to officially welcome you to the family and know you're the perfect man to take care of Stacy. Can we raise a glass to the little Stigs and the Jacques? We love y'all. Can't wait for tomorrow. And such it gives me great privilege to be able to say you are formally husband and wife. All right, whenever you're ready, my friend. <laughs> One and done. Mazel Family is everything to us, so in meeting Stacy, she'd really have to be the perfect thick to accept all our crazy. So within seconds of chatting, I was put at ease and knew Stacy was the one. They complement each other in the best way possible and it's been such a joy watching your relationship grow over the years.